What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use B-roll clips the right way because the right way. B-roll clips are basically kind of overlay videos that you want to use in your videos, in your films, anything like that. I'm going to, you know, talk about it in detail in this video. So if you're excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and I would say let's get started. Obviously, right after the intro. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we're in Vegas Pro 16 right now, and B-roll clips are basically found anywhere. It can be on YouTube, it can be on, for example, Storyblocks. If you wanted to go ahead and check it out, make sure to check the link in the description if you want to get your awesome cinematic, you know, B-roll clips or footage, anything like that for your videos. Okay, so for example, what I'm going to use today is a old video of reacting to subscriber videos. If I play this back, as you can see right now, this is just me talking in front of the computer, and and a b-roll clip is basically just something that's going to play over the video. So what you want to do is if you want to have a little bit more freedom, you don't want to place a secondary clip, for example, this one of like the city, you know, with the sunset and everything like that. What you want to do is you don't want to place it on top of your video because it's going to cover up the video like that. But you want to create a separate video track. Just right click, hit insert video track, and then you can place the clip on the there. So what we can do then is, for example, let's say that you know this clip of the channel reviews is a shot of an interview of someone and you want to go ahead and place a clip on top of it for example let's say that this person is saying uh, last year I was you know in Hong Kong as you can see then you can just go ahead and overlay this b-roll clip real simple and you can do this with anything but you want to make sure that you want to delete the audio of the clip that you want to show over it or that it doesn't have any audio at all so b-roll clips are really really handy to you know give a professional twist onto your videos because if you just have an interview and a person is calling out certain places you can just you know type in the location of the person that the, you know that he's talking about and then you just drag in a b-roll clip and that can just give it a real professional twist and obviously you can just make that appear like that or you can just go ahead and create a fade in offset you want to hold your mouse on top of it right here at the beginning then you want to drag it on like that and and then you can just have like a nice fade into the clip as you can see like that it looks really really nice and obviously you can just add in a fade out for example like that so it's going to go back to the video and b-roll clips are used in a lot of different movies anything like that so guys if you're looking for websites where to get b-roll footage make sure to check out storyblocks it is just a website that i use as well and that's a really really handy and if you want to if you need footage that you know is copyright free royalty free that's not going to give you copyright issues or anything like that make sure to check out the description sign up for an account and then you can just start downloading right away what's happening guys my name is Alex welcome back to the last Vegas 16 tutorial of today and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to fix crashes and freezes whether it's uh, mid editing well it well it maybe it's like rendering anything like that we're gonna talk about that in this video so if you're excited for that make sure to smash the like button down below and I will catch you guys obviously right after the intro Okay guys, so as you can see right now we are on Vegas and for example if I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drag in uh, for example this checkerboard let's see what happens this is not happening every single time I'm, I'm doing this but this is just for the video so let's drag this one into my timeline Wait for me. 
and that happens to me quite a bit in Vegas Pro 16. And the big question is like the version the version just released. Like why did they not like get rid of all the crashes and freezes in Vegas Pro 16? Well, guys, you have to understand that um, whether you're downloading Vegas Pro 16 onto a uh, computer, a desktop, or like a laptop or anything can be different, and it depends on how much RAM you have or how like how many programs are running in the background that's going to make it heavier. So I have three steps we can go through in order to fix the crashes and the freezes, obviously. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that you will import your footage straight from the Explorer tab right here because 9 out of 10 crashes happening upon me is when I'm going to edit a video and I'm going to drag in like a really long 3 gigabyte file into the project. So let's say that I'm going to go ahead and drag in a video. If you drag it in that way, it can crash. So what you can do is go ahead and go to the Explorer tab and you want to pick, for example, your uh, hard drive or your uh, uh, data D drive or wherever your file is located. And then you want to click, for example, on music. And then obviously you can just see all your files and drag it in that way. That can also prevent crashing. So that is basically the first step. Now the second step is basically something in the editing software itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to options. We're gonna pick preferences and we're gonna pick this video tab right here. And it says GPU acceleration of video processing. You wanna put that one from advanced micro devices to off. Then you want to click on apply and then as you can see for one or more of these changes to take effect the application must be shut down and restarted. So I'm going to click on OK, click on OK again and right now I'm going to just basically uh, restart Vegas Pro 16. <laughs> Okay, so now that the software is restarted and we can go to the uh, third step, which is basically save your project every now and then. Because let's say that you're starting, for example, at 8 p.m. and you're working like into the night and you're done at 1 p.m. and you, have, you haven't saved it for like four hours, that can basically delete all your progress so if you start editing at 8 p.m and you're done at, for example at 1 a.m after like editing a music video for example if you haven't saved it in between but just really simple on with your left hand when you're editing just hold control and press s on your keyboard that's automatically going to save it and that's going to save you a lot of time because like i've mentioned if you're editing for hours and you haven't saved it and vegas crashes upon you it can actually delete the entire project. It's not going to delete it, but you're going to lose all your progress. And obviously sometimes Vegas Pro can ask you, do you want to restore the previous project? But that still can cost you like three hours of work. So guys, I hope these tips were helpful to you. Just make sure to import your footage straight from the Explorer tab. Obviously go to the options one, click on preferences, video tab, put the GPU acceleration of video processing to off, click on OK, make sure to press Control S once in a while in order to save it. So if it's going to help you avoid crashes and freezes, make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments if it really in fact help you. So what we're going to do now is basically drag in, for example, a clip of an image. I'm, I'm just going to pretend that this is going to be a video. Yesterday, I just wanted to go ahead and export the video that you that the how to about how to get 100 subscribers every single day. That's why I wanted to render. So I selected everything. I was done editing. If I hit file, hit render as. And what happened then was right here, this loading icon it stopped, it crashed. I didn't even make it until this window. So it just kept loading and loading and loading. It became white once I clicked it like that. And I thought, okay, let's just reboot Vegas Pro, but nothing happened. So I went on YouTube, looked up some information and I know how to fix it. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna press the Windows key on our keyboard on the left. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in percentage app data and we're gonna hit this one right so now that we are in our folder we're gonna go ahead and go to the app data one we're going to pick local and then we're gonna locate vegas pro it doesn't come in a sony folder like all the previous versions would do so we're gonna just type in the search bar vegas and then we're gonna pick this one vegas pro so now we're gonna pick our version i'm gonna pick 16 obviously and right here it is very important that we're gonna look for a specific file that has to do with our editing. So right here we have all Vegas autosave.ba 
ZK back files. So what we need to do now is locate the file with the same date as we edited the video. So, okay, so let's say that it's going to be this one. April 10th, as you can see right here, 7.55 p.m. What we want to do is, this is the autosave. It's really simple. First of all, close out Vegas Pro before we're gonna do anything. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the file and we're gonna just remove the .bak, .back. So if we go ahead and hit enter, we're gonna click yes. And as you can see, it becomes a Vegas Pro file that you can open with Vegas Pro itself. So let's go ahead and double click on it. And obviously it's going to be a blank project, because I didn't do anything in the project that you just saw besides, you know, that checkerboard. So let's see what happens if we open that up. Right, guys. So as you can see at the top, it says autosave. And it is basically a file that we had just a minute ago. So this is how you recovered it. Just go to app data, remove the dot BAK extension, save it, open it up, and there you go. So that's the first method. So obviously when Vegas Pro 16 crashed upon me and nothing seemed to work, I also contacted, you know, Magix, the developers of Vegas Pro themselves. Themselves. And I said like, yo, what's going on right now? I cannot open this project anymore. I have to get this video out on time today. What can I do? So then I received a response from them and they said that also QuickTime, you know, that software by Apple is caused the issue because QuickTime is not capable by, uh, with Windows anymore. So if you just uninstall QuickTime, you should also be able to open it up without any issues. And these are two steps, guys, in order to recover .veg files and how to use those corrupted files again. And now you can just render it out and you're good to go so guys that's a really really simple video i know this is just not too complicated but if you guys want to have more complicated tutorials about certain effects i'm going to go out next week filming with an entire camera crew with camera rigs on a car with lights everything like that you guys are going to be blown away so let's go ahead and just save all that for later for now thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support make sure to subscribe down below if you're new and if this video was helpful make sure to drop a like and i will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's videos.